What's going on, everybody? Castle Crag bringing another Monster Hunter Wilds weapon overview. Today, we're going over the bow. So, my familiarity with the bow is kind of okay. Um, it's, it's kind of a simple weapon when you think about it. It, it shoots. That's about it. I, that, that's obviously not all there is to the weapon. I mean, I, I actually have played a decent chunk of the bow. Um... <clears throat> so i mean we have our, our dragon piercer has which was introduced in world iceborne um your dash charges basically different charge level we have the what the power shot the regular shot we have spread <clears throat> spread bow pierce bow and then like normal shots or whatever it is um not there there is honestly not a whole i'm i'm the the video is a minute and seven seconds long um which is longer than the previous two one of which was the switch x uh i'm let me look again here hold on i can i can check real quick. So longer than six. Longer than 10 of the what 12 so far? Yeah. So it is the second longest video, it looks like. And then that's for the bow, which I would classify as moveset wise, one of the simpler weapons in the game. OK, I guess. Um, it'll be interesting to see where they go with this, I, I, I suppose. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get ready, get started with this here. That's not right. I want to full screen that. Uh, before we get started again, like always, I'll ask that you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment down below after watching everything. And uh, let's just get into it. Excuse me? <laughs> what the heck did I just witness? Um, That is one of the better weapon showcases, I think. I'm very surprised. <laughs> what the heck? What on earth did I just see? So we got our normal shots here. It looks like power shots. Um, it looks almost like this, maybe the spread bow right there. Uh, obviously we had the coatings, that's what it was showing there, kind of, charger arrows, like always. Um, it does look like the aim point's a little interesting. Now, okay, hold on. I want to see this. Also boasts high mobility, so what is happening here? So the monster doesn't attack. And I think we do a 
dodge while pulling out an arrow. So is that kind of like the counter dodge, whatever it was called in... I think it is basically that, that countering dodge that you had in Sunbreak. Because there were two in Sunbreak, uh, Rise actually, base Rise, I think it was when it was introduced as a switch kill. You had the regular, um, I guess, bow dashes where you would just dash and it would <clears throat> go up a level, a charge level on the shot if you were holding the bow. Um, if you were charging a shot, rather. And it would go a decent distance, even. And then you had another one that you unlocked a little bit into the game, where you had an arrow, you slashed the monster while moving. You didn't move nearly as far, but if you, but it would counter. It had iframes. Uh, the regular dash does not have iframes, but the counter dash does. Or at least it has more iframes than the regular dash. Um... Because the regular dash might have some iframes, but they're just tough to hit or something like that. Whereas this one, <clears throat> you time it specifically with a monster attack and it would do a slash on the monster, up your charge level, and give you complete iframes for that attack. That looks kind of like an upgraded version of it. Could be something else, but that's what that kind of looks like. Because um, yeah, those are... So that's what seemed to happen there. And that's just our regular uh, until there. <laughs> um, that was our regular uh, until we until we do whatever the heck this jump slide is like. I'm sorry, excuse me. Slide, slide and then jump. Is that is that a slide jump or is it just he jumps immediately here? So he just jumps. <laughs> okay. How many inputs do we have for this? <laughs> because I don't... I'm not sure how that is supposed to work. Um, that's neat. I wonder... Why? Like maybe you get mounting damage when you do it? Because you're in the air, and I think aerial shots do mounting damage, so maybe there's that. Um, this is new. I don't recall this being in anything I've ever seen, at least. It could, maybe it was in like Try or Four or something. Maybe there was a, I don't, I honestly don't know, but we show a tracer arrow here. And then you don't even have to aim anymore. And then we show Dragon Piercer, which also gets attracted to this tracer. Um, I want to look at this Dragon Piercer real quick and see. That seems faster to me. Which is kind of one of the downsides of, of Dragon Piercer in prior games. Um, was that it's, it, you know, it's a high DPS move in and of itself. A high damage move, not DPS, right? It's a high damage move in and of itself. But the DPS on it is low because of how long it takes. So it typically wasn't worth even using. There were some builds that kind of forced it and made it decent. Um, but it wasn't ever like an optimal thing to do almost ever. Uh, that, however, might make it a little bit better. Because it looked faster, and then it also goes towards that tracer, which is cool. And does uh, does that make the tracer explode as well, as they mentioned? It does. It did look like the dragon piercer missed afterwards, though, because the monster reeled. And it looked like it kept going through. So that's, that's interesting. So it missed some of its damage. Focus mode to target. Now, this is... This here... Uh, this is wild. This is crazy. So we see our, our arc shots. Um, looks like we're back to regular arrows. Not back to because I don't know if we ever had actually regular arrows raining down. In World Iceborne, it was like stun rock. It like rained rocks down that did stun damage. 
or blunt damage, you know, for stuns. Um, <clears throat> I think it was pretty decent at exhausting monsters. Then there was the Rise Sunbreak version, which there was like a heal. And then there was a damage boost one, like there were support passives almost on them. Um, and I think they basically didn't get touched in the game by almost anyone. It was never optimal to use. And this looks like a. It's just going to rain down regular arrows for some damage over time, basically, in an area. So this is focus mode, by the way. Um, <laughs> what is happening here? So we go blast, we hit all of the focus mode spots, and then we release, uh, was that a dragon piercer after that? Focus mode's released, I think, and then just a dragon piercer. That seemingly, those arrows that you release... I think stay in the monster and then explode for small ticks of damage afterwards. That's what it looks like happens here. Is that after the blast to every weak point at once, um, the hunter throws a dragon piercer into it that pops all of those. a sneak attack. There's a judge again. That looked new. That looks like a new attack. Huh. Yeah, I... That might be one of the best ones so far. Not gonna lie. That was crazy. That was a lot of stuff happening right there. Pretty good showcase. I think bow users are going to be pretty happy with that. It's still going to be one of the element kings, probably, along with maybe dual blades and potentially insect glaive. Element files on other things. I mean, there's going to be a lot of elemental damage, I guess. Depends on what they want to focus on and how they want to adjust for bigger weapons as well. <clears throat> Man, um, exciting, I think. That stuff was cool. The bow looks fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. Good job on their part. That is my favorite one so far, and I am not a bow user <laughs> by any stretch. Uh, I do like the bow. I think it's better. I, I prefer it to the bow guns because I think it's a bit more honest. Um, not that I dislike the bow guns or any bow gun users. They're just, I would call those more of the kind of casual player weapons. Typically, there are certainly good hunters that use the bow guns because that's just how they prefer to play. I'm not trying to denigrate those people. It's just a weapon that I think is a bit more casual. Um, <clears throat> yeah, wow. The, uh, that, that was crazy. I, I just want to see this again. So we see multiple tracers, I think, inside of the monster at this point. Um, something I didn't notice. Uh, well, what am I? God bless it. Pressing the wrong button. So we see... Oh, the bow's in the way. It's annoying. I was trying to have it be a little bit easier to see. Hoping the monster's claw would come out. But we see multiple tracers. One right here. And one right here. These are the tracers that we fired earlier. And there might be one up there, actually. Hard to tell with the focus mode revealing the weak spots at this time. Okay. This is cool looking. 
Get the arrows, fire out, boom, split. <laughs> okay, ah. Uh, that's just such a cool attack. Very, <sighs> excuse me, sorry. That is a very impressive showcase. Well, bow users, let me know down below uh, what you think of these changes. Uh, I'm thinking this might make bow my ranged weapon that I end up using. Uh, at least at some point. I probably will still. I know I was talking about the bow gun a little bit. I will probably use it when I'm in the mood for easy farming. But. Yeah, wow. The bow will be something where I, I want to use it for the actual just beauty of that. Huh. I'm just in awe. Okay, let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one tomorrow, hopefully. Well, these will be releasing at weird times, but thanks for watching. Goodbye.